seduce me. Shall we dance? Start. Why did I just try to put my second name? It clearly doesn't fit my second name. It has been two years. Two years since my grandfather passed away. Two years since I met the boys. Two years since Sam and I shared our first kiss. It may have been forced, yes, but he was still my first and my last. I grew to love this man and held no doubt about my affections for him. He might have seemed intimidating to some, but inside he was a sweetheart and was as gentle as a feather. I felt warm every time I thought of him, a smile following after. Sam. As his image appeared in my mind, my heart fluttered. Sam had decided to join the police force, and he had used his handcuffs very well. <clears throat> Embarrassment aside, he would always come home proud to have caught a criminal or have stopped a fight. I was so proud of him, and always praised him enough to make him go right in the face. He was so cute like that. He would always smile, though in the end, he cherished me beyond anything else in the world. I was happy, and I never want my story to end. No surprises, no problems. On a day off, though, something surprised me. I was cleaning the kitchen, humming my favourite Rise of the Phoenix song to myself. Dinner was quick, but having a clean kitchen was important. My mind wondered to what had happened at dinner. It was peaceful, but Sam barely said a word to me. It might have been because he was tired, but Sam was a lot more vocal at dinner time. What made today different? However, just as I finished cleaning the last utensils, something zipped past me like lightning. I looked back and tried to see from my memory if I could pin a detail in the fast-moving shadow, but I came up with only one answer. Sam? I don't think so. It could have been Simon, unless, of course, Matthew took Simon with him. No reply. It had to be Sam, though. Who else would do this? Who else would be in the house? I quickly washed my hands and tried to run in the direction the shadow ran towards, heading into the dining room. Again, we know that's not always the case. Sometimes it might not always be Sam. It might actually be something else, but whatever. Also, very pristine white kitchen. I gasped slightly. What the? Draped over a chair was a sign. From the handwriting, I could tell that it was Sam. He tried to write eligible enough for his message to get across. He still had some work to do, but I read the sign as best I could. You have a surprise in your room. A surprise? What's going on? Was this... Some kind of booty call, or was this a trick? Sam, what are you up to? I decided to go along with this. What was waiting for me? Would it be a desperate Sam? Would it be a gift of some sort? This wasn't like Sam at all, and yet it had Sam's writing all over it. It proudly wrote this. He proudly wrote the sign himself, though I can't actually see it on screen. I walked through the lobby and headed upstairs to my room. I felt a pair of eyes watching me, but I ignored it. If Sam was watching, then he'd watch me follow his direction to the roughly written letter. My bedroom door was closed, despite me leaving it open the last time I left it. Odd. I slowly opened it, mentally preparing for anything. I wasn't prepared enough for what was there, though. I saw a beautiful jade-coloured dress laid out on my bed. It had gently glimmered in the light of the room, showing the grace of its regal fabric and design. It looked like a princess gown, yet it was definitely a modern dress. It was like a large prom dress, but I wasn't going to the prom. Stepping further into the room, I noticed my bedside table was covered in different jewellery and accessories. On the floor was a pair of gorgeous jade heels that sparkled in the light of the room. Sam, if you're around, what's going on? I tried to speak out, hoping he was nearby to hear me. I didn't hear a reply. Sam, what's going on? This was beyond any Sam. Anything Sam would do. I could never imagine him laying this out for me. Yet my heart fluttered at the thought, possibly being very true. My mind began to imagine him seeing me in this dress. His face would turn red, but he would give me that silly grin and call me pretty. My lips curled into a very happy smile at the fantasy thought. I stepped towards the dress and gently lifted it up. It was perfectly made for me. The tailoring was custom with no tags on the collar. I blushed wildly. When did... What distracted me was a note falling out of the dress onto the floor. I quickly picked it up and read it. Again, it was in Sam's sloppy writing. Please get dressed and wait to be escorted back downstairs. I 
Start as a note, incomplete confusion. Wait, to be escorted? What did that mean? Where were we go- Why were we going somewhere? This whole thing left me with so much- So many questions. I began to rethink, following the shadow from the kitchen. He- He better explain at the end of all this. I muttered before slowly stripping down and slipping on the dress. It was indeed perfect. Form-fitting and princess-like. A quick sip and suddenly I was royalty. I looked at the mirror at myself. I couldn't stop staring. I really- did look regal. Whoa. I stared at myself. How was I able to look like this from simply putting on a dress? I slowly started to add accessories to some of the pieces of jewellery. Once I put on the heels, I felt that the world around me was almost too dreamlike to be real. This was from Sam? A small knock tapped on my door, and I quickly rushed over to open it. I stared as James, dressed in his servant garb, greeted me and held her an arm to me. He was in on this? James, what's going on? James didn't reply, simply smiling at me and nodding for me to take his arm. I slowly took it, now even more in show of what was happening. He guided me to the lobby where Eric, Matthew and Damien waited for us in their servants' garbs as well. I gripped to James's arm tighter, now very nervous. Well, what was going on? We climbed down the stairs before James gently lowered my arm and joined his brothers. Everything was slowly becoming a fairy tale dream and my mind had a hard time wrapping around it. Before I could speak though, the boys bowed their heads and raised their arms in unison towards the dining room archway. I turned my head and gasped. Wow, <laughs> look at the blush on his face. <laughs> Dressed in an extremely handsome prince garb was Sam. Sarah met me with both the surprised expression and the blush on his cheeks. I felt a blush rush onto my own face at the sight of Sam. He looked really handsome and my heart was racing just from looking at him. This had to be a dream. Sam gulped silently before walking over and holding out his hand to me. I stared at it then slowly reached out and placed my hand in his. Sam smiled before gently bringing it to his lips. His hand was quivering. Why? Amazing. Let's turn it back up a bit. I stared at Sam as he looked at me with his lips on my knuckles. My blush grew hotter on my face, making him chuckle softly and lean back up straight. He didn't let go of my hand, however, and gently pulled me towards him. I looked up at Sam as he smiled and rested a hand on my waist, lifting his hand he was holding beside us. I naturally rested a hand on his shoulder, raising an eyebrow. The music started to play. It was the song I recognised and it had become Sam's personal favourite. Only plucked on the piano, I looked over to the direction of the sound, barely seeing Eric playing a portable piano in the corner of the room, before feeling Sam tighten his grip on me, making me look back to him. Well, shall we dance? <laughs> I stared, telling every single dancing nerve in my body that this was indeed real, before nodding to Sam. Like a fairy tale, he and I began to dance in almost perfect unison. He gently guided me around the lobby, waltzing with me with a tender smile on his face. I couldn't help but smile back despite my mind being completely lost in what was going on. His smile always made everything okay with me. Each step we took was perfectly timed with the music. I didn't doubt Sam had these skills because he was an incubus. Yet it seemed so uncharacteristic of him to be able to do be so prince-like. Sam, what's going on? We're dancing. What does it look like, doofus? Seriously, are you just gonna keep calling me that? Damn you, Sam. We're dancing, yes, but... Before I could continue, the room slowly began to melt and get darker. Sam kept leading me through the dance as the room around us began to tune into the night sky. The stars were brilliantly lit with the moon being the largest light in the sky. I felt myself grip the Sam tighter before looking around. We were dancing in the sky under the light of the moon. Our feet touched the air as if it were merely the floor as we waltzed to the echoed music. Speaking of air, I slightly took down to see the mansion far below us. We were very high up in the sky. I couldn't help but tie my grip again onto Sam, who chuckled in response. Sam? What? We're in the... We're in the sky. Yes, I know. Doofus. Again with the doofus. But what if the- I promise, I won't let you fall. 
I looked a bit Sam to see him with a serious expression. Our dance became a simple sway as he gently moved the hand on my waist to caress my cheek. I naturally closed my eyes and nuzzled into his gloved hand. I would never let you fall. I'll be by your side. Always. I'll protect you with my life. Aww. His voice, his words echoed through my body, making my heart feel warm and light. I felt incredibly happy that he was like this. I almost didn't want to ask any more about what was happening. Everything seemed too perfect that even the smallest doubt might break the stream. I didn't want this stream to end if it was one. Sam gently led me back into a dance, smiling once again to me. Where did you learn how to dance? <laughs> Sam let a small laugh and twirled me before returning to our waltz. James taught me. It took forever, trust me. But I think I got it. It's not too hard. You're an amazing dancer. My words rendered him speechless. He stared down at me and blushed while trying to continue our dance. You're so important to me, you know? And you are important to me, Sam. I mean it, though. No one has ever made me feel this way. Ever. I never even thought I'd be like this, but... Sam? Let's turn the music down so it's not as loud as Sam. So we can hear him better. Soon Sam slowly stopped us from dancing, letting us stand in the night sky like nothing else mattered. Sam stared down at me, a look of pure seriousness covering his face. I, I love you so much, alright? You make me feel like a man, not a monster. You're so friggin' important to me. I just... My heart was beating faster than I thought possible. Sam gently lifted my chin and leaned down, laying his forehead against mine. I want to be worthy of you. Oh. You are, Sam. I love you, too. Sam closed his eyes and smiled. I could feel my heart warm and my eyes began to water. He was everything I dreamt of, everything I wanted, everything I needed. I loved him. Sam then slowly lifted my left hand and kissed over my ring finger. For a second, I heard him growl slightly before whispering. Yeah, screw human tradition. I'm a demon. <laughs> huh? I watched as Sam kissed the back of my hand, then over my wrist. I could feel my energy gently circle and vibrate at the touch of his lips. I watched a very subtle green mark began to draw themselves over my hand, almost like a wire covered paint, as chains. They soak around my wrist and continued to circle around my hand. One twice three times at the fourth it wrapped around the base of my ring finger the mark began to glow gently before fading into my skin on my ring finger however appeared a gold ring with the emerald and diamonds it glistened in the moonlight glimmering its brilliant shine at the many stars that surrounded us i looked up at sam who had a small smirk <laughs> if you don't say yes to marrying me i'll never forgive you wow I instantly began to cry, feel my entire body warm up in joy. Sam held my hand to his chest, then his smirk melted into a genuine smile. But yeah, will you marry me? I want to be yours and have you as my own forever. I know I'm not on one knee or whatever, but I'm a friggin' demon, so like... <laughs> I... Didn't let him finish. I instantly jumped up and wrapped my arms around him, kissing him deeply. He gasped against my lips before slowly wrapping his arms around me and kissing me back just as deeply. Every ounce of his love showed itself to me in that kiss. I felt like it was in heaven, just kissing him and being in his arms. He was, he was who I wanted to be with, and I would continue to love him and be his for the rest of our days. As we gently pulled away, I smiled, tears still gently rolling down my cheeks. Yes, Sam, I will marry you. Sam smiled wildly before hugging me close. His embrace was tight and I could feel him almost shudder in pure joy. He was as happy as I was. I love you. I love you too. And that was my happily ever after. And that's Sam's. Shall we dance? Thanks for watching. More Studios Me coming up.